Obedience is something we don't really talk about in the modern church. Everyone nowadays wants to do their own thing, but Christ is quite clear. If you know yourself to be a child of God, then you will live like a child of God. Recently, I discovered a humorous fact about outlaws in the Old West. According to the editors of the book, Outlaw Tales, there was a well-documented technique that many famous outlaws of the Old West used in order to get away with their crimes. This technique was often referred to as the Quantrill Technique, after a famous Civil War general named William Clark Quantrill, who fought for the Confederacy. After the war, many of his shells Shock soldiers turn to a life of crime. Here's how the Quantrill technique worked. If you were an outlaw, there were five things that you should do. In the course of committing a crime, you loudly declare a false identification. For instance, if your name is Bill Smith, make sure to yell at your victims. They'll never catch old Frankie Popovich. <laughs> yeah, I'm too smart for them. Many famous outlaws used this technique with great success throughout their criminal careers. Its effectiveness came from the fact that back then there was no such thing as DNA evidence, fingerprints, cameras, television, or radio. Number two, you could falsely claim that your victim had in some way injured someone in your family. This will teach you not to shoot my brother, you sidewinder. <laughs> Citizens of the Old West often thought that crimes done to an average family member were perfectly acceptable for you to retaliate against. a false trail. Announce that you're traveling north that night and then go south. Or announce that you're meeting up with your gang at the Pecos Saloon and then go to Sally's Saloon instead. <laughs> Number four, you could claim that your crimes were committed by an imposter. In the days before photographs and DNA evidence, this was a great way to create reason Outlaw Cullen Baker committed numerous crimes and then he took out an ad in his local newspaper offering a reward for the capture of the criminal mastermind who was impersonating him. Now that's his fault. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> or, number five, immediately after committing a crime, you ride out the wind to some distant town and you try to establish an to embark on a life of crime. Now you know how to do that. <laughs> Human nature never changes. Some people will do anything to keep from being held accountable for their actions. I read <coughs> recently that March 13th of this year was designated as National Blame It On 